Because if you are not lying, when we start singing that sax song, you are supposed to shout for joy. Glory. And I was preaching here, I think a few months ago, and I said to you that, you know, God doesn't look at the, you know, the before picture and the after picture. Remember that? Remember that I was saying? I said, the picture that you look is way, 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 way. Remember that? And you guys said, wow, that's a nice revelation. But that's the song that come after it. Now, if you are so happy to hear that, now, here's the song that comes with the message. Why can't you sing it? Why, why can't you give God praise in that song that can hear? Now, we're not just saying, oh, I believe it, but we can sing it with you. You know, you know I'm going to have Brother Lewis give you a testimony. Just to show you that song I just sang here. Not just, it not just happen. Brother Lewis, that song not just happen. I want to share with you how he felt yesterday when he called me and how I talked to him. And now you come here, he, he listened to that song. From yesterday, the message that you heard that I preached, it was Brother Kenosha was supposed to preach, and I preached. All that was caused of Brother Lewis because he was praying. And this song here that you come here, that listen, some of you might think just a normal thing. There's nothing, you know, different about it. But you know what? God moved out of, out of ordinary. We are serving unusual God. He does things unusual. You know, if there are people that do church in routine. Like, let me just show up on a Sunday and I make myself known. And they'll think, like, you know, ah, I made it. Everybody see me. I was here on Sunday. Well, you're in the wrong church. I always said, I know a few churches. If you want to do that, they can give you money. They can give you houses. They can help you out, give you food. You know, they have a food bank, all that stuff. I can give you the address. You can go. This church is all about the word. It's all about God in spiritual form. So you need to understand how to serve God. You didn't come here with, when you come here with your flesh, you're going to have problems because we don't deal with the flesh. You see? So you have to let the flesh go and get in the spirit realm and start worshiping God. Catch the revelation. And I hope that you do. I want to have Brother Lewis just come very shortly so he can have a testimony to hear. When somebody's going through things, you yourself, you know, going through it, you don't know what's going on. When you come to church, you see the Holy Spirit moving. You don't know what's happening. You don't well, ah, just, that's just another service. That's not just another service. God is dealing with his people. Do you know that God loves every one of you? And God cares for every one of you? 
So do you know how, how God going to be able to deal with all of you here when you have any issues? He has a five-fold ministry that's there to help you. You must recognize that to know how God is going to be dealing with you. Think about it. You got all these people here. You are, all of you have different issues. None of you have a similar issues. You got different issues, and God is a miss in the midst of us to resolve those issues. Now, if you're going by flesh, how one man can do this? Think of it. How one man can do it by flesh? So that's when you have to let your flesh go and get in connected in the spirit in, in the spiritual dimension, and so you can hear from God. He that is that have a ear to hear, let him hear what the spirit says to the church well Louis, are you ready brother i bless you god bless you church we have been listening our pastor always and other brothers saying that we are in a battlefield and this is not natural battlefield but it's a spiritual one and there is a many different devils out there that we have been carried even when we born according to paul we born in sin that means we born with the devil and that is so many different devils drink smoke you name it but that is a one in particular one that when he comes he comes to kill you and this devil it's the one that it comes with the bible and brother brenna's message and this is he comes to kill you he don't come to mess you around. He comes to kill you. And this devil, I have a pleasure this week to deal with him. When he came, he accusing me that I was not justified. When he accused me that I didn't have the Holy Ghost. And he brought a scriptures and brother Brenna message. And I have to confess that he shake me. And then when I look at the scriptures and I look at Brother Brennan's match, I say, oh, my God, look at my condition. And I got desperate. But one thing I know for a fact, that the first day when I walk in through that door and God promised to me that he will be here for me, I believe it. So before I went through the whole process that the devil was trying to bring me on, I called Brother Edmund. I said, Brother, I have a problem. I need to check with you. And explain for him all my thoughts in the scriptures in Brother Brennan message. And he say, Brother, that's not from God. You have a spirit. And then Brother Edmund spoke with me for like almost an hour. And I was just listening. And every single word that he dropped in my soul was a release of the guilty. And I could feel the devil. I was driving my tow truck in a big rain. And I could feel the spirit right in my truck. And there was the battle right there. So when Brother Edmund finished his message to me, I hang up on the phone. And then the devil continued to talk. He didn't let me alone. And Brother Edmund gave me instructions to read a few messages from Brother Brandon. As soon as I arrived at home, I went to my computer check the scriptures check the message and i start to read and the devil was there still talking i could not concentrate to read the prophet message i say lord i can't do it but i believe that you are here for me and you know that this is from the devil as my pastor told me but i can lead, i can read the brother brenna's message right now I'm so tired, the pressure is so much on my, on my flesh that I can read. So I fall asleep. But before I sleep, I say, Lord, may you use my pastor tonight to cast the devil out of me and settle everything. Because I'm suffering, I'm tired with this. So the night came, the night came, Brother Kinal texts me, Brother, you're online. Brother uh, Edmund texts me, you're online, I am online. And then the service starts. And then Brother Edmund opened the service. I said, Lord, I told you that I want Brother Edmund to speak to me. Not because I don't believe in my brothers. That's not the case. But you finish the service with him when you end with my pastor. And then Brother Edmund was speaking, speaking. Introduced to Brother Kinal. Brother Kinal came and sat in this chair right here. 
ready to be introduced for the message. And then Brother Adam started to speak a few things, address a few problems in the church. And then I was watching the monitor in my computer. And he looked to the camera and looked to Brother Kenon and said, Brother, you're going to preach tomorrow. Church, this is the supernatural. When we sing, Michael is here. Yes, he is. But listen, how many of you was here yesterday? I saw the angel. And I was not here. I was at home. Praying. Pull for the Holy Ghost to speak to me. And then God came down and did two things. Yes, Brother Lewis, you are justified. Yes, Brother Lewis, you have the Holy Ghost. Yes, Brother Lewis, I pay all your sins. Don't worry about it. And now I'm going to show you who I am. He came down behind this pulpit. Inspire my pastor to switch the program. Now, is my pastor anointed? Well, if he was not anointed, he will put a brother Kinal to preach. But he filled the pool. And he changed. Church, that's my testimony. Many of you understand. And many of you don't understand. That is one thing in, 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 in that's the only one game in place right here. The devil wants to kill us individually, saying. And we have a just one way to escape. Well, you're going to say, why are you pointed for him? Because God, before the foundation of the world, predestinated a man to be anointed, to drive the bride through the path. We're not going to make alone. We need him. We need these brothers. We need to understand what each message comes from this pulpit. And we cannot miss and think, oh, because the music is not, rare, is not there, or because I don't feel anything. It's not about the flesh. It's about the spirit. And all the time, when all, when all the justified people gather together, the Jesus says, I will be there. God bless you. is the sweet that's the reason why I love him so Oh, Jesus is the Now just lift up our hands, sing it one more time. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. 